at you from the Lemoyne Micro Farms garden area. Um, and we've been doing a lot of passive mushroom fruiting this spring. So spring is just starting, spring has just sprung. Um, and we've been getting lots of mushroom spawn from our friends in Philadelphia over at Micropolitan. Uh, um, so you can see we have a lot of Namiko over here. Um, what I've been doing is just opening up some of the bags. It's been raining, so um, we've been getting lots of Namiko fruiting. And I've just been opening the bags and letting their, their mushrooms kind of just like get some space to grow out. Because a lot of them are growing in the side of the bags. Um, we had our friend Cameron who's been helping out come and harvest a lot of the top fruits while we were gone. Um, I just got back from the Pacific Northwest. If anybody saw my last video, um, you would have seen I was just in Washington uh, harvesting some truffles with friends. So um, our friend Cameron came and picked all the top fruits out. So really right now all we have is these side fruits coming out of the Namako bags down here. But again, I've just been going through, opening the bags. I'm gonna let them air out over the next day or so. Probably pick them tomorrow once they start to like release themselves or um, open up a little bit more since they're not concealed in the bag anymore. Then I'll just pull the, the plastic back up and give them more of that humidity. Also, just going around, if we see any like sitting water or anything like this, um, just going around and pouring it out. Don't want any sitting water. Um, so yeah, that's the Namako area. Um, well, most of the Namakos that still are in bags, a lot of those haven't been fruited yet. Um, here what I'm walking on is all oyster mushrooms. We haven't seen any fruiting out of here yet this season um, But I'm sure they'll come back and um, we'll get oyster mushrooms that just fruit right out of the ground here um, You see the remnants of some from last year um, But yeah, this is all oyster mushrooms and then we have lots of different mixed mushrooms and underneath the coffee ground But again mostly oyster um, So I'm just gonna walk you guys right up and for those of you who don't know the cordyceps are actually growing on the top floor up here um, but here we have lots of shiitake. So this area still needs to be shaded because um, you can see it's getting direct sun right now. Sun's right up there, beaming down. So we do need to shade this area out um, so that these mushrooms don't dry up all the time. But you can see <coughs> that we do have some shiitakes fruiting in here. Um, you can see one right there. Might go ahead and pick that after this video. Well, I'll just pick it for you guys. Yep, so a little shiitake fruited out, not anything too crazy. You can see it has that cracked cap situation because it's in the direct sun. It's going to grow, it's going to dry out, it's going to start regrowing again and that's going to cause the cap, the cap to crack. Um, so I'll just set that there, grab that in a minute. Um, and if we go further over here, um, you can see just some more smashed up namiko, some of them that weren't in their bag. And um, we can see some Namakos starting to fruit out here. Um, and we can also see some Namakos fruiting out over here. So some of these um, are potentially harvestable. I'll probably harvest this cluster back here. And you can see some, they're just all growing anywhere they can. Typically where they're getting shade from the other blocks. But I'll go in here and pick some of these guys out. Um, and then over here we have a lot of king oyster blocks again, blocks that weren't really fruited out. Um, so I've gone around and poured out some of the water in some of these guys. Um, but you can see that again, like the shiitake, uh, with these king oysters that we have in the sun, we're getting this like, crap, crack, cracked cap. I don't know why my brain wants to fuse those words, but we're getting that cracked cap um, expression on the mushrooms from being dried out. Um, so we got a couple of fruiting bodies. Those look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's really what we have going on with the passive outdoor mushroom garden. And again, for higher success rates, we're gonna have to definitely shade out um, these blocks that are up on the top tier over here. Um, those guys are good down there. They got the fence and they got the trees growing. So um, it's William Padilla Brown um, checking in, Mycosymbiotics Mushroom Farm, Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, and as always, propagate and myceliate.